When we think of geological modeling, we might picture complicated oil and gas reservoirs made with fancy software and a lot of computer power. But actually, almost any project that deals with the Earth uses some kind of basic modeling. And they can all benefit from making a digital version of it. The first thing we do when we start modeling is to set up the stratigraphic and structural framework for the project. The framework is based on geological knowledge from old interpretations and published research. This step gives context to collecting, managing, and interpreting data. Data integration to build digital representations then translates the conceptual model into a quantitative one. This can be broken into building geometric model and simulating property distributions. The conclusion of the process is model validation and uncertainty assessment which can be done in a variety of ways although can use algorithms built into the methods of geostatistics. Stratigraphic and structural framework is important not only for data interpretation. Recognizing geological processes responsible for shaping units is key for choosing appropriate interpolation and simulation when building the digital model. These algorithms must be able to produce mathematical representations of the subsurface in a form of geological surfaces and 3D grids. While data collection is tailored to the problem to be solved, formats for data storage hinge on its character and software used. 3D visualization is the most important tool during the last three stages which also requires the most computing power. For example borehole data, being geospatial, fits seamlessly within CSV vector format in GIS, allowing easy transfer into other software including Paraview or a commercial geomodeling package. For large datasets other formats like GeoPackage or SQLite may be more suited. Very large geophysical datasets, including seismics, inherently suit Paraview's 3D capabilities, while interpretations of horizons or faults can be exported and analyzed with any GIS software. Similarly gravimetry or magnetometry can be displayed as grids or points, and we may also oscillate between spatial analyses with GIS software and 3D visualization in Paraview. Open modeling software like Blender or Visit do not natively support geophysical formats. One option for seismic data is to use seismic Unix or OpenTEC to convert profiles into images. Paraview, which is a general scientific modeling software, does support most of the formats and is capable of displaying and processing very large datasets. Paraview is also demonstrated here because of its simplicity paired with advanced data analyses options and user-friendly interface. The aim of numerical modeling is to translate conceptual qualitative model into digital quantitative representations. This step follows data integration. This step can be broken into two main procedures, first the simulation of geological interfaces, including strata boundaries and fault surfaces, using various interpolation algorithms. Next 3D geological objects can be defined. Various interpolation algorithms are available with open source software and can be explored in this channel. 3D geological objects can be defined using polygonal meshes, 3D grids or voxels. A 3D grid is a three-dimensional array of cells that covers any region of the subsurface. Each cell in the grid represents a basic element that builds the volume. It is used to divide the subsurface into manageable units, allowing for predicted geological properties at specific grid cells. At locations away from sampling points, properties such as lithology or porosity can be estimated using deterministic interpolation. Alternatively, probability of property distribution can be estimated based on geostatistical simulations. Assessing uncertainty in geological models is essential for understanding the reliability of predictions made from these models. There are many ways of recognizing and classifying uncertainties. The most simple is comparing the model's predictions with actual observations from boreholes, seismic surveys, or other data sources. Another method involves generating multiple model realizations to assess the variability used in geostatistical methods. 
Typically, a combination of methods is used and leads to refining the modeling results. As we can see, there is a structured path from the initial development of a geological framework to the final validation. It is a cyclical and iterative process towards refined 3D representations of the subsurface. As new data becomes available the model may need to be updated. The results of modeling may also need to be shared with all parties involved, incorporated into other projects or displayed on various platforms. This channel will cover most of aspects mentioned in this brief introduction. Leave a comment if you would like me to explain something in more detail and hope to see you again.